Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harry here again. Sunday, car boot day. Treated myself. I went to two car boots. I know, lucky me. <laughs> but yeah, I found some good items. The first car boot wasn't brilliant. The second car boot was pretty good. So I'm glad I went to both of them. But yeah, I'll start off with the smaller items and then we'll go up to the bigger items. Got a few interesting bits to look at today, a bit more than yesterday anyway. But yeah, without further ado, let's start off. First we'll go, first we'll go with the camera. I don't know much about cameras. Well, to be honest, I know nothing really about cameras. But this was only £1. We got a Nikon camera with a Nikon lens. I thought for £1, you know, it's got to be worth taking a gamble on for a pound. Uh, for some reason, I can't get this to fit in correctly because... I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but yeah I only paid a pound for this it's got the strap here to go around your neck uh, lens seems to be in pretty good nick it's got the cover here as well just pop it off it's too little yeah so it's in pretty good condition you know a few little I think I'll clean off though little marks on there nothing major but yeah so I only paid a pound for this I reckon I'll put it online I'll put it on the spares or repairs or parts or something like that and I think I'll get about £10 looking at what they're going for online, like between £30 and £50. So I reckon someone will want it for a tenner. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see how much you get for that one. Up next, we'll go, go to this little thing. I bought this because it was quite interesting. This is just part of a barometer. Sadly, the wooden surround is missing. I don't know how big or small it would have been. But yeah, I bought this mainly because it says West Germany at the bottom. So it's got a bit of age to it, obviously. So we're talking, you know, 40s to 80s, that sort of time period. But this was £2. I thought it just looked kind of interesting, quite ornate. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get for this. I'll put it online, probably on the auction on eBay. And yeah, we'll just see what happens with it. But yeah, I did. It's a bit rattly as well, so I have to sell it for parts or something like that will display only i don't know but yeah interesting little item i thought i'd pick it up for two quid there's that one and i wasn't finding much at the first car boot so i thought i'd buy something <laughs> up next just some golf balls paid two pound for these brand new in the packet uh my dad i think will want these so i'll give them to him so yeah not too bad i think with these tight lists yeah these are about you know between five and £15 depends where you buy them, around the £10 mark. But yeah, I only pay £2, so I'll give them to my dad. It's a good little gift. Up next, we'll do these. I only bought these because the bloke didn't have any change, so I needed £2 in change. So I just picked these up instead. These are like two-handed chisels. So we've got like one honing one here. You know, two hands on here, it's so quite comfortable. And too sure on this one no makers mark on these i imagine they're quite cheap i've looked them up online and a brand new set's only about 30 to 40 pound with about eight of them in so i only paid two pound for them i'm not gonna get i'm gonna get my two pound back in change i wanted but yeah i don't think i'll get much more maybe five pound for the pair something like that but yeah yeah i like picking up good wood working tools every now and then uh we'll go next to the watches Found two watches today that were worth picking up. There were quite a few about, but a lot of them I don't see much profit in. And some are just, you know, rubbish, spares and repairs, junk. And if they're not in a job lot, I don't really touch them. But yeah, we'll start off with this one. We've got Ben Sherman one here, nicely boxed. A little price tag on it still. £10, which a little bit pricey for this one. It's got the plastic cover on it as well. I thought, oh, it's a bit scratched, but no, it's just got this little plastic cover on still, which is good. All in good working order, the correct time. But yeah, I paid a tenner. I think I'll probably get 15 to 20, so I don't think it's that good. But I wasn't finding much at the first car boot, and so I bought picked this one up. But still, a fairly nice looking watch, and it's nice to be boxed. Up next got this little seconda watch and bracelet set this quite this caught my eye quite a bit i thought it was quite nice look at that so we've got the watch here needs a new battery more than likely Oop, dropped it. <laughs> yeah in lovely condition and then we've got the matching bracelet here 
Ooh. Yeah, so a really nice item. Only cost me three pound, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Uh, sadly, Seconda is not the best watch brand in the world, but this I think is going to make a lovely gift for someone. So I'm going to price it for around fifteen pound. I think once I get it working, you know, put a one pound battery in it, ten minutes of my time. So yeah, it's worth picking up for that. It's also nice it's boxed and got somewhat the instructions. I think there's supposed to be more, but still it's got some paperwork, which is always good. Makes them easier to sell. So we've got that one there as well. So that's the small items done with. I'm gonna have to just move the camera slightly to get everything in. Just moving everything out the way. Okay. So we we'll start out with my biggest buy of the day. Oh, yes, that's right. I was filming on it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a captain's chair. Now I've been after one of these for a while. This is just a reproduction. It has got a brand on the bottom, but I can't remember what it looked like. So I need to look it up. The leather on this is in pretty good nick for these things. They're normally rarely worn down. It's comfy. It all works. It needs a slight bit of restoration on the leather nothing major just needs what's it leather restorer or cleaner or something that shouldn't take too much time and yeah i need to just clean up the wood because it's gone a little bit white but that shouldn't be too much work yeah it's a lovely chair it's comfy and i've been after one of these for a while all in good working order i paid 35 pounds for the chair which is pretty good on its own i've been looking to get one for a while and most that I've seen have been between 50 and 100 and not in this and probably not in as good a shape as this one. So I'm really happy with this. Got myself my captain's chair. I've been after one for quite a few years now. I saw one at a car boot a while ago and it was £20, but it was a bit it was in worse shape than this. And I thought, oh, I might go back for it later. And I did go back for it and it was gone. So I was a bit heartbroken at that, but still I finally got one. I was super happy with it. It's just brilliant. I go. I've got the captain's chair. I'm now the captain. You know, look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy with this chair. So that's the big buy of the day and the big spend. Up next, we'll go to go to the one golf club I found picking up worth picking up today. I'll pick it back down. Go to the floor for a background. I think. So yeah, this one golf club here. We got a nice Callaway, free wood in pretty good nick. Needs the light clean. Hopefully the head will clean up a bit better because it's slightly scuffed, but nothing too bad. That should hopefully polish out. But yeah, in all round, pretty good nick. And I only paid three pounds for this with a head cover, which is ideal. It's not the newest model, but it's still pretty good. I paid three pound. I think I'll have no problem getting 20 pound for this quite quickly. So I'll be happy with that. Also got the Odyssey Club from yesterday. I don't think it's gonna bother regripping that. I'm just gonna stick that online for 20 and hopefully get that worst case, get, you know, just over 15. But yeah, there's that. Up next, we'll go to the bags. I've got some bags today. Well, I bought one, I bought this O'Neill, no O'Neill, the surf brand, bought this bag here, it's in pretty good condition, all the zips are working, it needs slight clean, nothing much, but yeah, all round, pretty good condition, I only paid £2 for this, which is a pretty good deal, I had a look online, they retail brand new for around 20 just over, so for £2 I should you know, get eh, close to 10, I reckon, for it. But still, it's a nice bag. Worst case, it doesn't sell. I'll use it. So we've got that one there. And then also, when I bought it, they said, oh, you can have this one for free if you want. The zip doesn't work. And I thought, well, I'll just keep it in the car and use it as my car boot bag. It's massive. I fit a load of bargains in there. So yeah, for a freebie, it was worth picking up. I haven't looked up the brand yet, but it's there. What's that? Lanson, but yeah, I haven't heard of that. But still, for a freebie, it was worth keeping. Worst case, I can use it for storage, moving stuff around the items that don't sell. But yeah, I think I'll just keep it in the car for a car boot bag because it's decent size. I can put loads in it, it, saves me going back and forth to the car. So we got that one there. 
And last one of the day. Zoom in a bit more. A bit smaller. I picked up this. Is it Binatone or Bind Binatone? Binatone. This old video game system. I picked this up because it was only four pounds, and I thought it's worth picking up for four pounds something like this. I don't think they go for much. I had a look online. Some are like you know between fifteen and twenty, and then some are up to into the hundreds. But I don't think they're ever really worth that. I think people are dreaming. But yeah, still it was an interesting little thing. You could tell it was slightly old, you know, around the nineties, mainly because it plays on most sizes, most brands, color or black and white TVs, and obviously you can see on the uh, picture here that's an old TV there but yeah it seems to be all there I need to test it out have a look at it actually I haven't got it fully out the box yet so let's do that quick oh, it's wedged in there god this probably hasn't been out the box in 30 years oh god that's wedged in there but yeah so we see we got this one the controllers it's literally just a dial so, you know, for like playing, playing Pong, you go up and down sort of thing. I think that's what most of the games on this are supposed to be. But we've got the instructions in here as well. Which is always a bonus. We've got the box. It's not in the best condition, but we've got the box. Even though it's falling apart. Is it going to come out? Don't want to destroy the box trying to get it out to show you. Oh, there we go. I'll go back together, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's in pretty good nick. So we've got that, we've got two controllers, all the cables. I'm gonna have to test it out, see if it works before I sell it. So an afternoon of playing vintage video games, fine by me. But yeah, four pounds, I thought it was worth a chance. I did, I probably, if it's all in working order, it's probably gonna be, you know, 15 to 20 pound. So it's nothing major, but I thought it's worth picking up and taking a chance on. So yeah, there we have it, guys. Today's car boot video. Uh, today's car boot video. Today's car boot buys. Even some good buys. Uh, the gold club should be the easiest one to sell. I'm pretty sure this watch, the Seconda here, that will sell quite quickly and easily. Uh, I'm very really happy with my captain's chair. So yeah, some good buys, some good deals, and I'm a happy chap. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. As always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There's yesterday's car boot video if you want to check that out. Some all right buys on that. Just a quick little car boot that was, though. But yeah, there's loads of car boot videos on the channel. There's going to be plenty more in the future. If you're interested in watches, got plenty of videos on watches. If you're into golf clubs, there's tons on my car boot videos. So yeah, and if you're into vintage gaming, I've got a few videos on vintage gaming as well. But again, thanks for watching my video and hopefully I'll see you in the future one. Bye for now.